And for more on China's anti-domestic violence law and its progress, I want to bring in Guo Ryuxiang. Ryuxiang is the program coordinator for UN Women China. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So one year later, has the domestic violence law made a difference in China? Actually, the uh, domestic violence law is really a very, uh, very step forward. And because this is a milestone for China to protect the rights of women, uh, for them to keep them away of domestic violence. And that is really critical after one year's implementation. And uh, uh, they are already good uh, um, models and experimentals have been in place. And, and also police, uh, uh, police uh, warning letters have been uh, also in different places got uh, uh, standard, st standardized. And uh, personal safety protection order have been issued to those who really experience heavily violence from the, from the perpetrators. And, and uh, uh, some uh, good uh, examples also, the multi-sector have been working together to protect the rights because uh, single, uh, single domestic violence survivor, they do need uh, different types of assistance. Uh, but, I mean, they need uh, police to save their life and they need uh, doctors to treat their, uh, their uh, illness. And, and also, uh, again, for shelters, whenever really they need to be away from family, they have to get uh, somewhere to go. And those have been really good at a very uh, a good step. And we do expect in the near future a more functional multi-sector model can be established in China and which all sectors can work together jointly. You know, we heard and, in and, our last but of course, story. We heard in our last story, yeah, but of 30%. Course they are. Sorry, oh, sorry. 30 percent. Uh, is domestic violence underreported in China? We heard in our story 30 percent. How prevalent is it? Yeah, yes, uh, that's underreported cases because uh, according to the statistic conducted by uh, Old China Women's Federation Statistic Bureau in uh, 2010, and, and they are 24.7 uh, percent uh, married uh, women reported themselves as uh, victims of uh, domestic violence. But that is reported case. We also uh, know their names appeared in, the, in those survey. But in reality, and uh, actually not really too many women go to uh, uh, police or claim their rights in the legal system. And this is also a uh, statistic shows. Uh, always almost 35 times experienced violence a woman will go to seek for services. And that's why under report uh, of domestic violence is a big issue still in China. Although this law is published, we do hope more women or more survivors can stand up and also claim their rights. Ms. Go, we have about a minute left. The United Nations, as you know, has a gender equality campaign called He for She. Is that making a difference in crime against women in China? Yes, because uh, he for she is really a global campaign uh, issued by uh, young women uh, headquarters. But globally, we do really expect and men as partner and also all people can really actively join uh, to promote gender equality and women's empowerment, particularly stop violence against women. Uh, and that's particularly important in prevention because uh, uh, establish healthy gender relationships is critical and also change uh, a man's attitude and particularly the uh, negative, uh, uh, negative mas masculinity. And those are really the way how we can promote the whole society participate in those campaigns. And in China, we have been working with uh, uh, various universities and also school students in middle and high school. And that is also to promote the healthy, respective, and gender and gender equal, and also uh, uh, responsive uh, gender relations. And this is what we really promote. Uh, uh, youth have to be part of uh, the campaign, and because they are the uh, future in China and globally. Then, if they are actively engaged, and we will have a much more sound environment to stop violence against women and girls.
All right, Guo Ruishang, thank you so much for joining us from Beijing.